Good morning. Here we are again at the fragrance counter at Nancy's. I tried to make a joke here. It's too early though. Um, yeah, let's figure out what the day is like. What'd that say? Showers 43, high of 45. So a little bit of a comfort needed. Let's see, that's more of a, this end of the spectrum. Do we go Hermes? I haven't worn that in a while. Or maybe we should be fabulous. Now, I think I'm gonna go with Emerald Rain. That seems to be the standby when I need a little bit of pumpkin spice latte in my life. So we'll go that route. Enjoy that. My manicure is already falling off, so I've got to decide what I'm going to do to replenish that bad boy. Uh, pick out some jewelry for the day. And I got this lovely text message from Louis Vuitton saying, order before noon for, to get things by Christmas. And I'm kind of tempted to buy myself something because, you know, I kind of want something. So we'll see what happens. Talk to you later. Okay, so a bunch of packages came today. I'm gonna get into that one a little bit more here after this segment. Um, so this is future, future me talking about the past. I don't know how to describe that. This is going to be unboxed soon as well. These are some dupes, I believe, for Van Cleef and Arpels. So I'm really excited about this arriving. Got some more hollow taco to unbox. So um, yeah, got a bunch of stuff to do. And then if you saw during my work segment, I unboxed something as well. My, um, let me flip this over. So yeah, my work, um, I'm really new to this agency, but um, they sent over like a holiday um, gift package of just a few things. And I haven't been there very long, so I didn't get all of the swag or whatever that other people got. Some people got gift cards and extra time off and all these little things inside theirs, but got um, basically, you know, like a lanyard, a keychain, um, one of these like, you matter bracelets, which was really cute, a thank you card, this um, tumbler that was full of chocolates and things, you know, just cute little stuff like that, which is different because where I had come from, we just didn't, they just didn't do things like that. So they didn't really thank you with um, anything ever. So I um, was laughing because they were doing some of the um, achievement awards, like how many years you've been <laughs> something. And in all the years I was with my prior agency, somehow they lost my five year and I just got my 10 year literally two weeks after I think I had left. So they had emailed me and like, Hey, do you want to pick up your, your 10 year award? I'm like, well, it's been nearly 13 years, but I mean, I guess. And it ended up just being <laughs> So I was like, okay, yeah, before they used to give you like a pen or something for however many years you made your milestone, like 25 was, you know, like the paperweight and, you know, 30 was the watch or whatever <laughs> you got. But um, yeah, the, down to the basically the homemade printed certificate. Thank you for your service. And that's okay. That's what public service is about. I work in public, you know, in, for the government. So for a government. <laughs> 
there's lots of government, obviously. So I work in at one, we're in one version of our local government. Um, it's a different type of world and it's a huge monster. When you think of a company, it's like a global, um, you know, multinational organization compared to where I come from. So I'm, I was like a regional office. <laughs> and this is like, oh my God, you know, the, just the monstrosity of working for one section. It's massive. There's, I think, 11,000 employees just in the department I'm in. And that's just one department of dozen. So yeah, it's, it's a massive, um, change from where I came from with 3000 employees to, you know, 10, that was the entire County, 3000 employees. <laughs> this is 10,000 for one department. Um, crazy. So it's, um, a very different, different world right now, but it's also really fun. I've been hoping to get, um, higher up in, in government for quite some time. So I'm mean, not elected official or anything like that, but <laughs> into a, a bigger and, and greater good, they, they call it. So we serve the public trust. And um, yeah, so that was today. So the candle order came in. I am really excited. I should have bought a whole bunch more. This was from the candle uh, sale that they had a couple weeks ago. Um, not a couple weeks ago. Well, yeah, okay. It was December 4th and 5th. Um, they had it in store and online, and I was such an idiot. I went to the outlet mall with my friend that day, and the store was so packed. I was like, oh, no, no, no. I don't want to, you know, rustle my way through there. It was like Black Friday kind of vibes. I'm like, I'll just go online and buy what I can. And they were so slim pickings by the time I got online and made my order, but I wanted to, um, go on and say, I got wild berry jam donut and then another one for, um, spring, summer, sugared lemon zest and pineapple pound cake. And then the few holiday ones that they had left were give warmth, uh, love cotton candy, champagne and cookies with Santa. I wanted to get a bunch of black cherry Molo, which is my favorite scent. There's a peach one. I think it's peach Bellini that my husband loves. A whole bunch of other ones, but they literally were sold out of everything by the time I got online. So this is all I got. I hope they do another sale like this soon, um, maybe beginning of the year when they did that 75% off sale, because I really like to have these candles on hand. So real quick um, unboxing, delivery, opening. but. I have to say, this sugared lemon zest, I'm sorry for boo, it smells just like lemon sugar from fresh and I'm just dying for it. I love it. And then these ones are just really lovely. So, so I haven't tried pineapple pancake yet. I'm intrigued. And the wild berry jam donut looked uh, really, it looked, smelled <laughs> really good. So um, yeah, excited to have these as part of the home fragrance collection and uh, want to buy some more. See you later. It's advent calendar time. It's that time again. Is it beer time? Uh, okay, let's start with the beer. Beer 30. Just about close enough anyway. Okay, tonight's day 15 is a Perlenzauber IPA. Oh, an IPA. Oh, that's a uh, sexy beer, apparently. It looks like uh, what we got is a swimming woman outside a submarine porthole, is what that looks like. And... That's about it. A Perlitz Alber IPA. I wasn't expecting an IPA. Yeah, what's in this. the difference between an IPA and a hell? Uh, IPA is India Pale Ale. It's it's a pale ale. It's so it's it's an ale, not a beer. And I think what I was what I read was that IPA India Pale Ales were called so called because they were like made in a way that would preserve them for the trip. Uh, across the, the Silk Road to India or wherever. I feel like I'm on, you know, News Channel 5. <laughs> so please tell us about the difference between IPA. I, I can't really speak with any authority. That's just something I think I read uh, some some years back. I see. But, okay. uh... <laughs> I will, next time I'll get the expert and bring it in. <laughs> Do my research. All right. So it's, that was day 15. Day, 15, day 15. 15, right down here. That for you. a big pocket. Oh, that's another one that's with a pretty firm snap. Okay, here you go. Comfort, Comfort scrub. scrub, nourishing oil scrub. With sugar microcrystals. That sounds but very you still should intriguing. Need it. 
Avoid the eye contour area. Rinse with water. So it is a face scrub. Huh. That sounds good. I'll have to try that out. It's very lightweight. Doesn't think there's very much in here. Hmm. No. Well, these are all basically samples, right? Yeah, but usually this size of a tube, I, I get a few uses, but maybe it's just the what's in it is not very right. um, heavy. Okay. Santa's leftovers? Santa's leftovers. <laughs> So, oh, here's the kicker. Like, every day I get a text. Go ahead. Yeah. I get a text from Sugarfina, like, with their specials as, as Christmas is rolling on. And, like, for the last few days, it's been like, get a bonus one of these with your purchase. And I'm like, yeah, I already overpaid for it in the first place. <laughs> you should just oh send it to okay, me. Okay, so these would be. Oh, they're, they're very green. Want to guess? Oh. Apple something. Melon cucumber bears. Oh. <laughs> they don't look like cucumber bears at all. Melon or just melon? They don't. It says melon cucumber bears, except these don't look like cucumbers at, or, or uh, bears at all. They look like skateboards. Look at this again. What? Oh, apple skateboards. Yeah, they skipped now. Okay, we had birthday cake caramels last night. Now we're down to apple skateboards. Okay, it was supposed to be melon cucumber bears, though. Oh. Come at me. That is really Okay, so weird. these are the Apple skateboards. Huh, okay. Huh. Let's get in there. Strange. Get in there. Get in there, Tyrone. Get in there, Tyrone. Shout out to the backyardigans. I can't remember who the, the creator was, or I'd say shout out to her name. Yeah, I don't remember. It's been so many years. Shout out to the backyardigans. Fifteen. There. This should be something good. Okay, this is heart shaped and it's dark chocolate. Dark chocolate ganache. Heart, yeah, I bet. It's and the, you saw those at Costco. Yeah, it's the it's the dark chocolate version of the milk chocolate heart that we had last time. Or no, we didn't have a milk chocolate heart. Pretty sure it's this one right here. Okay, dark chocolate ganache heart. Oh, I was thinking of the milk chocolate ganache bliss and that we were, there was a dark chocolate as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's what I was thinking of. Interesting. All right. Well, I've had that a hundred times over, so you can have that You know one. it's good. So last but not least, Boo Bear. It's advent calendar time. Boo, it's time for you yours. You were sitting there waiting so patiently. You ready? It's your turn. Open this up, and it's another stick. I think last night's stick was darker, so maybe they're different flavors. Are you licking your lips? I saw that. Is that mm -hmm. a licking? There it is. Licking is it the pretty? lips. Yes. Oh. Look at this distinguished gentleman. Yes. There oh, you, you want go. your treat? Okay. He's we like, love you, I'm going. I'm going. You're a good boy. <laughs> All right. <coughs> awesome. Well, there we are. Ten more days. Ten more days. Penguin's not lit up. I got to put him on and get some candles lit up too. I know you replaced his batteries, so there we go. Yeah. He's lit now. I don't get around to doing all the rituals, so yeah. All right. So we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>